The MT-09 SP is a road bike. Pretty nice actually, that suspension is quite soft, it's not harsh over the bumps, it's very forgiving on the road. The quick shifter, it's a little bit stiff, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I felt this when I tried the standard MT-09. Position on this is comfortable, bars are high. Nice, nice foot peg position. It's still sporty, it's not completely about comfort, it's still got a sporty feel. A bit super moto-y, but the, the seat height is quite low. The throttle response is a little bit snatchy. I've got this in standard mode, which is okay. It's better than the, uh, the stock MT-09, the 2016 one, which I've rode. That's a lovely little pop as you change gear. The engine sounds lovely. The sound of it is gorgeous. Quick shifter is definitely nicer than the SP. And it's got a nicer induction roar as well. And of course you've got the lovely TFT on this. Hey! The switch gear is quite nice. I'm finding it a bit fiddly that the, the, the indicators are right next to the horn. And with gloves on, it's all too easy to push the horn when you're trying to cancel the indicators. Hello, we're off again. The hazard lights are right next to the mode button. So you have to do battle with that. There's the hazards when you touch the little tiny mode button. So the switch gear is quite small and it's quite close together. Yeah, bars aren't quite as wide. Pegs are a bit slippier, I think. That could just be a bit of mud on my boots. And this has got the Super Corsa tyres as well, which oh, I'm not sure I like that when it's, when it's a bit wet and damp. I prefer something a little bit more all weather. Mirrors are really good. They're bar end mirrors. Look nice. And aren't they great for uh, the position of them, for seeing behind you? Feels a similar weight to the, to the MT-09. Maybe, maybe a smidgen heavier. Maybe a slight bit more effort to change direction on it. Than the, uh, than the MT-09 perhaps. It's definitely sporty, the seat is quite hard. The pegs, the pegs aren't in a bad position. They're actually a little bit lower than the street triple, I fancy. It's a bit of a more of a super motory position this. You're up over the front, your arms are out here, your elbows are out. You can get a real good amount of leverage on it. The clutch is very draggy. Quick shifter is again quite hard work. You've got to give it a proper, proper pull on the lever. Blipper. Oh, that's racy. <laughs> the blipper's racy. That blipper does sound good. It's a good fun road bike, absolutely lovely, comfortable. The seat's comfortable, the position's comfortable. Lovely engine, not too vibey either. Hardly, really good on vibes. I like it. This is really good actually. I'm loving this. This feels a bit more sporty than the MT-09. This feels like you can push it on a bit more in the corners. Yeah, that, that's how a quick shifter should be. It shouldn't be like the, the MT-09. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, it shouldn't be. That rear shock it's lovely over really heavy bumpy sections of road. It doesn't jar you at all. It really soaks up the bumps nice. The Odin's unit is great. It's, it's set up soft, I think. It's set up soft for the road. And when you just think this is nine, just over 9,000 pound, and you've got Odin's, oh, it, it's incredible value. And it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, she's got a lovely old bark. It feels a bit too owner-y. You know, it feels a little bit, a little bit too owner, too owner -y in its riding position and the way it handles. It's got that same eagerness. If I shut my eyes, <laughs> uh, yeah, it feels like the Toronto. <laughs> Never a good idea to shut your eyes while on a motorcycle, by the way, everybody. I don't recommend it. It's the hardest bike to ride out of the three from terms of the clutch, the aggressiveness of it, you know. It's the most powerful, nearly 140 brake. Mirrors, very good. You can see behind you really well, actually. No heated grips. Rear brake, yeah. Typical rear brake, really. Not, not overly sharp just there to keep your wheel keep your wheelies in, in check really <laughs> it's quite harsh as well over the bumps it does jolt you around a little bit and the fact the seat feels like it's got no padding and the fact you can't move about on it doesn't help things this comes in at, i think it's 10 2 something like that if, it's, if that's wrong i'll put it on the screen but it's at least a thousand pound more expensive than the mt09 sp for on paper a very similar spec bike but I think that you can just tell the Triumph quality I think is just shining through a little bit more just a fit and finish of everything perhaps it's just a, a little bit more better overall quality of finish on this compared to the MT bacon and chicken sandwich washed down with a packet of quavers and an Eccles cake. <laughs> Living the high life. Uh. It's certainly got character. You, you can't say this bike doesn't have character. It's certainly got character. So if you want something which has an awesome soundtrack and is full of character, <laughs> then I think this is the, the one out of the three. But is it the best bike? I'm afraid it's not. It's just revving it does when you pull away, it's like automatically revs. It's obviously some sort of like anti-stall system, a bit like the Suzuki's have, but not as good. <laughs> but the biggest problem with this bike is it costs £13,000. It's £4,000 more expensive than the MT-09. The engine actually has a surprising amount of bottom end for an engine which revs to 15,000 RPM. That is a surprise. It's definitely the, the most powerful, this one. Maybe this bike just works better when you're being a bit more aggressive with it. Maybe you've got to take it by the horns and really go for it, for it to come alive. The brakes are excellent, really, really good. It, the suspension is better when you're pushing. That's a tight corner. That's another tighty. Oh. So things I'd like to see with this is a bit more work done on the quick shifter to make it a bit smoother. The engine is lovely, it's not vibey, can be a little bit snatchy the throttle response, but that's just, you know, that's just the Yamaha just work, trying to work around the Euro 4 restrictions. So, you know, a map, a, a change the exhaust, a remap, that'll sort out the throttle response, I'm sure. There's a little bit of buzzing on the bars that sort of sat at 80, but not a lot. It's absolutely fine. So on the road, the MT09 SP scores 8 out of 10. After spending a bit more time on the Brutale, I'm sort of understanding it a bit more now. When you first step on this thing, you go, oh God, I don't like it. But if you push it on, it's when it starts to work, when you're pushing the bike on and you're, you're being more aggressive with it, you're taking the lead with it. It sort of works in that situation and as a, as a Sunday morning 
back lane scratcher. I mean, you're not going to want to commute on this. It's too, it's too hard to, to ride. I mean, the clutch is grabby and it does its own revy tick over thing as you try and maneuver it. The steering lock's not very good. But as a Sunday morning, rain scratcher, it works. To be honest, as a road bike, these middleweight 800cc bikes, they're a great size for the road, to be fair. You can still open them up, you can still have fun on them without feeling like you're holding them back all the time. It's got good, good pickup, and the throttle response is very nice, actually. Throttle response is definitely better than the uh, MT-09. Yeah, this sounds better. You got your indicator on, Ben. Ben, Ben, you got your indicator on. Ben, you got your indicator on. Mirrors are a little, they're a great position, uh, but they vibey. Again, it's like a, this could be a tiny bit more vibey than the MT09, maybe. When you're on the power, a little tiny bit of vibes through the bars, perhaps. I gave the SP MT09 an eight. I'd say this is slightly better. Why well, is it? Is it? Yes, I think it is. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Well, so you, you're in front then, Johnny, and I see the side. Literally, yeah, you're going to be three, three abreast coming down there. Fairly what, together or drop back if all, to, all in the line, yeah? See that black lamppost? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be just before that. Okay, mate. But I think if we set off side by side, right side. Really? Yeah. Really's done. Yeah, yeah, I'd look a bit. Just yeah. look as if we're. Give it a bit. Yeah, just look a bit like that. Bit tucked. Yeah, just under the head's quite nice as well sometimes. Yeah, indicators off. <laughs> Johnny's got to do a wheelie. We're either side of him. This could be, could be interesting. looking um. <laughs> <laughs> hello we got an XR3i oh, you don't see many of them yeah. 80s not well 80s oh, yeah 80s isn't it gee it's a good nick as well that's tidy isn't it off we go again got a jump shot now <laughs> Jump shot. Yeah, the Brutale is a is a fickle beast, I think. Sounds gorgeous. I love the bark. Sounds absolutely lovely. Riding position is aggressive, but you know, I, I can't mark it down for that. The switch gear is a bit fiddly as well, trying to get to the get to the indicators, you end up hitting the horn. But Brutale rating, unfortunately, despite the epic engine noise and the addition of a blipper and some extra power, I'm afraid the Brutale scores are slightly disappointing. Seven. You know what, I'm happy to do it, but, yep. you know, guest rider and all that, you can have dibs. Yeah, you can have a go. Yeah? You don't have many chances before yep. these come out and start getting shouty. Yep. He's trying to turn it, it needs to straighten it out. Yeah. Come across it straight. Beautiful. That was a brave effort. That's the one. Let's go, big Has he got the shot? Has <laughs> Jason yeah, got the shot? Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Okay, he ain't got it. I don't know where it's going to be. One more. He didn't get it. Has he got it? You're saying one more? One more. Oh, he's on. oh no. I can't get this. Oh, he's got it. I'm going to try one last thing with a longer lens, but. It's all good practice for both scary, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> Did we get it? Yeah. Hooray! Yes. Yeah.